Hi, my name's Mark O'Mara and I'm going to be running a workshop called Enabling Genuine Collaboration. I'm going to be running this workshop as part of the ICT EV conference on the 25th of May in Melbourne. Um, a lot of people talk about flipped classrooms, it's very topical. And when we mean flipped classrooms, what we mean is taking the straight out delivery of information, uh, the kind of didactic material if you will, and moving that out of the session time into a, so that we can do the transmission in some other time. So this is what this video is for. This is to transmit the basic facts about it, hopefully to interest you in coming along and taking part. And if you're already taking part, telling you what to expect and what you can do in preparation. So the first thing is that in this workshop, it is not going to be me just talking to you. It's going to be a genuine workshop and we are going to work on an authentic and rich task and that particular task is that we are going to create a podcast. This podcast will go for about 10 minutes, but it will be properly put together, it will be edited, it will be researched, and it will be of high quality. I think that if we're going to publish to the world, and we are, and we want our students to, then we need to do stuff that is real and stuff that we can be proud of. So we're going to spend this workshop doing stuff that we can that is real and we can be proud of and that other people can listen to and learn stuff that we have learned. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I think that is one of the cornerstones of collaborative learning. It's not enough to work together on meaningless stuff. You've got to use this stuff to make something meaningful and useful. And also it's not enough to just create garbage and broadcast it again. Broadcasting isn't important. Creating something of value is important. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be creating this podcast. We're going to need people to do a whole lot of different roles. We're going to need producers. We're going to need a host. We're going to need panellists, somebody to do the audio, actually two or three people to do the audio because there's different stuff. We're going to need somebody to be pumping the show up on social media, probably in person, generating a bit of publicity, you know, because we're doing good work and we want people to know about it. So there's going to be different things for people to do. One of the other things that's important when you're structuring a learning activity and when you're getting people to work together is to have robust and effective tools and practices. So we're going to be using these tools and we're going to be sharing these tools. One of the main tools that I want to share is that I have set up a blog to help us do this task and also to put our finished product on. And it is called E in Team. This comes from that kind of cliche, you know, there's no I in team, which I must admit that I often mock with saying, you know, there's no W in team either and all these other things. But in fact, there isn't any in team. And this electronic stuff means that we can actually do teamwork in a way that we couldn't before or a way that was much, much more expensive and much more difficult. You know, people have been producing radio for a long time and podcast really is radio. But this enables us to do it with just very basic equipment. And we're going to do this whole thing with just the equipment we bring into the room. I'm not going to be bringing any fancy gear along. We're just going to bring in, I think the most expensive thing is a $15 microphone that I'm going to bring in. But again, we could get by with just our standard issue laptops. So it's going to be about processes and strategies too. That tools are good, but tools don't alone don't get the job done. So I've put in place some processes and hopefully we're going to innovate on these processes as we work with them and not sitting around discussing them academically, but saying, what can we do better to make our podcast, to make our artifact? So that's what this session is going to be about. I'm really keen to have enthusiastic and capable people involved. We can make this show with three or four people. It's possible, but it won't be as good as if we have 10 or 15 people or even 20. If we can have a really large crew of people who just jump in and work hard for 45 minutes, we'll produce a fantastic podcast. You know, that really will be something where we all learn together, we collaborate, and we achieve something that we couldn't individually. Because I know that as teachers we talk collaboration, but we often like to work individually and we feel like we can get more done individually, and I often feel like that. But I think that if we structure it right, if we have the right processes and the right tools, we really can have this kind of spark of energy between people and genuinely work together to create something really special. So, first of all, I'd really like you to go to the ICT EV website if you're coming to the conference and sign up for the session. Then what I'd like you to do is go to the blog that I set up for this, which is einteam.wordpress.com. 
I'm going to put the address at the bottom of the screen, and I'd like you to fill in the survey, um, which I'll put a link to over on the right-hand side, so that you can tell us all about yourself. So when we work in, walk into the workshop, we can say, okay, let's just check who's here, and here's what we know about these people. Let's get into roles, and let's start producing this podcast. So that's what it's all about. I think I've been talking for about five minutes now, so that's five of our 45 minutes that we've saved by flipping this section of it. So again, hopefully a little object lesson in what we can do with the flipped classroom, and I hope to see you on the 25th of May at 2.50 in the afternoon.